As Mike Manzoni continues our team coverage right now, he's live in Volusia County with how the cold snap is just the latest problem for the $70 million fern industry in Central Florida. Mike. Martha, Hurricanes Irma and Matthew ripped apart many of these shade houses here. These protect the ferns on the ground from sun damage. They just got those fixed, and now they have another thing to worry about, the frost. The work never ends at Fern Trust in Seville. Neither do the problems. We've had two hurricanes, which have caused massive damages in less than 10-month time period. The storms tore apart these shade houses that protect the ferns from sun damage. The farm wrapped up repairs on them a few months ago before Hurricane Irma. We just got them finished. Then here, right when they're finished, another hurricane comes and knocks them back down. They fix the shade houses again, and now they have another issue, the cold weather. It's taken a very tight supply and is going to shrink it any more, even more. The farmers spray the ferns with water overnight to prevent them from freezing, but the mist causes this frost, which cuts harvesting days in half. That makes it more challenging for workers to box up the ferns for shipping. We have just now got it rebuilt. When Fern Trust Executive Vice President David Register took us on a tour this afternoon, a hard freeze warning popped up on his truck's touchscreen. He knows when he gets up tomorrow morning, he'll see these ice chips on his ferns. Not only does it um, hurt a lot of the young fern that's out there, but it just slows down the growth tremendously. Farmers say the cold snap this week could end up affecting prices of ferns for Valentine's Day, but they say the price to consumers, the price hike shouldn't be too much. For now, we're live in Seville and Volusia County. Mike Manzoni, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.